Now, a couple of months ago in March, Diddy's home got raided by Homeland Security. Actually, multiple homes of Diddy was raided by the security. His kids were all in handcuffs, his sons. It was a bad look for Diddy. What made it even worse is that his dumbass son, King Combs, aka Christian Combs, decided to make a diss where he went at 50 Cent. But 50 Cent really was the least of his words because Christian also went ahead to diss Homeland Security. Told him, hey, y'all had the wrong house. It wasn't nothing in the shit that y'all went in. <laughs> we bought the neighbor's house next door. Them walls down like when them Fetty boys ran in both our cribs. Too bad they ain't know we bought the one next door because that's the one they missed. How now, I'm not going to blame Christian Combs for the reason that this video leaked well <laughs> fuck it yes i am i feel like the feds had some footage and they said oh little boy you either don't know your dad or you're a criminal too but either way <laughs> is this your dad right here and a video shortly came out right after of diddy chasing down cassie in a hotel where he beat her down but the problem was the statues and limitations were up for that crime but guess what you can't unsee what you already saw. So if you're a potential juror in this case, you already formed an opinion on Diddy, which will be a W for Homeland Security and the feds. Fast forward today, and it looks like it's really getting real for Diddy. That's if the sources are correct, because they're saying that the, that the feds have scoured through all the footage that they took from the raid. And Diddy's got some answering to do, and they're trying to track down witnesses now one of the things that they saw was a sex male worker being abused on camera now i have no actual details as to what actually happened to that man but they also say they're working on trying to find even more people that they have on footage now they're saying hey diddy we've been going through hours and hours and hours of your footage and all we gotta do is just connect the dots at this point. And the case is being built against the diddler. Let's check the news clip out right now. Evidence that investigators could be reviewing here. So as I mentioned, those federal raids that were conducted on his homes back in March, obviously a lot of people wondering what was seized. Well, we are learning now that federal investigators are in possession of video footage that was taken inside of Combs's residence. We hear that these investigators have been contacting individuals that they have seen on this footage. One person, in addition to the accusers who have filed these civil suits, is a male sex worker. That is what a source tells me, and that they have been brought in for questioning through these federal investigators. Now, when the raids first happened, we had a law enforcement source tell us at CNN that the investigation was largely based in sex trafficking, which is what HS uh, specializes in. Now we are hearing that that scope has been widened and that investigators are really looking into all of these claims put forth in these civil lawsuits. That would include not just sex trafficking, but also money laundering and illegal drugs. I have a source who tells me, quote, this is much bigger than just these lawsuits. Hmm. Sounds like much more to come. Elizabeth, thank you. Now this is much more serious than the civil suits because this is them now just saying hey we got you on film we just need to find the people which is the feds of course they will if you couple that with they probably already got people working with them such as cassie and other witnesses it's just a matter of time before the diddler is in handcuffs it's not if it's when so diddy is gonna have to tally up his legal team pay a whole bunch of money and get ready to fight for his life in court let's talk about it damn diddy <laughs> what else is new it's something new every week man but you know at this point i'm just here to kick you back in i ain't really even got too much to say about you because we all knew this was coming yeah we all done pieced it together you're a powerful man you know what i'm saying when you can start abusing male sex workers when you could abuse grown men and they not saying anything they, you know what I mean? Of course, men don't want to press charges, but it just goes to show that you thought that you were above everything. You thought that you were above getting in trouble when you did do some shit that you worried about. You paid people off. You a bisexual gangster, 
a bisexual gangster mogul killer millionaire entertainer rapper how many how many hats do you hold it just seems like you're a disturbed individual man and you're gonna pay for your crimes now i don't even know if diddy's ever gonna make it to prison to be honest with you he just comes off to me like somebody who would unalive delete themselves clock themselves out of work before they ever spend a day in in jail because while you do he's not a gangster in the sense of he's not gonna do his own dirty work he's gonna get other people to do it but in prison you gotta stand on your own too yep 10 toes down by yourself now you might have a little money to pay for protection but eventually stuff is gonna be seized eventually people gonna move on relationships that money is going to start dwindling down. You're going to keep trying to shoot appeals, spending money on appeals, paying lawyers, doing all types of things. You didn't use and abuse everybody that you've been, that you've been, you know, you gave away all your, your catalog back. So to me, Diddy, it's just a matter of time. We've seen this story before. Look at R. Kelly. People going to keep suing you. The money's gonna run low. And so, I mean, what is there, what else is there to even really say? We're not surprised that you're being accused of the things you are. You mean to tell me you probably had, who knows how much years of footage you have on your security system, right? So <laughs> they probably are got a team that's just going through every day, hour to hour to hour to hour just looking to see what's going on and it's crazy because you probably had cameras they say that you like to have cameras in the rooms and when stuff was going down in your house you was using it as blackmail and you know that's a powerful structure uh structure to do when you know you're trying to gain more money more power more success it's a dirty game out here i understand you playing for keeps but it's not good when the feds can get their eyes on these tapes man how many people were you abusing in that house well, your son's in there doing something? What's, what's going on? Hey, Diddy. Diddy, you got some explaining to do. I know that's why you was walking back and forth and nervous. Because you don't even know what you got on them tapes. Smart thing to do would have been, hey, man, I know the feds on to me. I got to delete everything. I got to get everything out this house. I, I got to do what I got to do. But it's too little too late. So, yeah, you're truly living in your last days. You're probably sitting in that Miami mansion trying to plot talking to your lawyer john what else what what is the other options what can we do what do they know what do they have on me screaming at your lawyer your lawyer can't help you because you did those actions not your lawyer so all i can say is the best of luck to you diddler even your bitch left you man she went back to south side you can't even get some of that freaky young Miami top. You feel me? You probably down to your last bottom, bitch. Because nobody want to be around you right now. Your last bottom, bitch. Y'all snorting pink cocaine off the table. <laughs> you probably sitting there in your drawers in a robe. Getting high as a motherfucker. Beating the hell out of them. Bitch, shut up! I'm under a lot of stress right now! Calling your lawyer every five minutes. Your manager like, man, I don't know, Diddy. Your business advisor is saying, Diddy, you got to sell everything. You should probably downsize the house. But your ass is probably denying the fact that you about to go to jail. You don't believe it's possible. You don't think you should sell the L.A. house. They telling you, hey, we need assets right now. We need money. Sell it. Sell those houses. But nah, y'all bought the neighbor house, remember? Your dumb ass son helped you put you in this position. So good luck, Diddy. Oh man, good luck, Diddy man. Uh, not really, not good luck. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. We all know, hey, let's just predict predict the over and under. Is Diddy getting charged next month? Let's say July, because it's about to be June. By July fourth, will Diddy be in jail? Will he have been arrested? I'm gonna say yes. Y'all, let me know what y'all think, man, down below in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. And we out, baby. Boom.